Hi, I want to talk to you about a painting I did. Uh, this is a painting of my wife, Noreen. Uh, this is about a day that was so much fun. We went north of Indianapolis, which is where we live, to Indiana Dunes State Park is the shore of Lake Michigan. And there are these gigantic sand dunes. I don't know how high they are, three or four stories high. It's so much fun to run and jump through the sand, but Noreen and I love the water. And uh, this uh, expresses our feelings of the day. We were so excited to just go down there and throw our shoes off, run along the shore, splash in the water, and Noreen wanted to dance around in the water, and it was so much fun. So this painting is, is, an, ex, is an expression of uh, the excitement and joy we felt that day on the shore of Lake Michigan. Uh, just to give you an idea of where we are, we're on the south shore of Lake Michigan. But if you could see about up in here, you'd see these little things sticking up here. And that would be the skyline of the city of Chicago. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the painting. Um, it, it's interesting to see I have a horizon here, but it's not a dark line. Because as you go out further, the mist from the water or the humidity or whatever sort of blends in with the sky and it was somewhat overcast so uh, you don't have a hard line right in here now uh, then of course you see the waves as they're coming in and then down here we have the water as it's rushing up on the sand and uh, I've tried to portray it so that you can see right in here the dry sand, but you can see over in here where the sand has gotten wet as, as the water recedes. Uh, some, some things that I've done in the painting uh, to give a feel for this edge of the water coming up here, I've just painted a little white line along the edge and then kind of a darker shadow underneath it which gives the, the impression of, of this little bit of water coming up. Then as we get further back, we have uh, the waves kind of breaking and it's just some little choppy lines of white paint. Further on back, it's not so choppy. Further back you go, the narrow it, narrower it goes and the smoother the line. Uh, the water itself, uh, as you're closer to the, to the sand, you can see the sand through the water, so it's kind of the same color in here. But as you go further back, uh, you, you see a little bit different, and basically you're, you're getting the reflection of the sky down into the water. Basically then you've got the white lines being the breakers of the waves, and just underneath them, some dark lines of the paint. Now with Noreen, um, one thing I'll mention is a lot of times uh, I like to paint things and let you put together what you actually see. We have a couple of legs here, but I just have one solid black area here because that's really all you would see. So your mind puts that in together. Um, it, it sort of blends up into this jacket that she's wearing. The arms, I have a little line of skin tone with just dark underneath because there's shadow underneath her arm. The leg here, for example, I have kind of a pink skin here but you have light coming down that shows up on the back of the leg with the dark shadow. And then uh, down below, uh, 
uh, you can see sort of the reflections of her leg in, in the wet sand here. And of course, I'm just trying to give an expression of her as she dances along uh, the beach in her bare feet. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in so you can see uh, closer up what some of this stuff looks like. Okay, now here are her feet. You can see that closer as we get a little closer in so you can see how the paint was handled on her feet. You can see below the shadows. Pull up her leg a little bit. You see that the legs are just one solid black. Go up. There's not a lot of detail in the jacket. And then look at the arms, and no detail in the hands. Get up to the head. You don't see much as far as the face. It's just the head is turned so you can imagine what's going on. Now if we, if we come back down to the water, see the edge here where the, the water is coming in. I'm just showing some white paint with a little bit of dark painted underneath it. Then when I come down to the edge where the where the uh, sand is wet there, but then as you go further over it dries out. If you can see how the the uh, paint has been handled that way. Then the closer waves, basically, if you look, it's just sort of little chops of white with some little sections of black underneath. Well, it's not really black, but it's dark. And that's the closer ones. And as we get further back, waves aren't quite as wide. They're a little more smooth. Just some dark painting underneath. A little bit of dark bluish and a little bit of green. We go a little further out. You can see that the waves are just white painted along with a shadow underneath. And then the horizon line really kind of blends into the sky. And that gives you an idea what the painting looks like when you back out. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, explanation of this painting. And I also hope that some of the techniques that I've explained can help you in your own painting. This is a wonderful uh, memory for us and I think any artists that are watching this ought to consider painting things from their memories. Uh, there's just something more exciting and wonderful about a painting of it than a snapshot. Thank you very much for watching the video and have a